2019 was a year for Pokemon. We got the really weird Detective Pikachu movie, which, I mean, overall was a nice movie, but uh, a little weird because it was live action. The Pokemon gacha game fucking masters EX and going ugh, at trees because Sword and Shield are official Pokemon games that were released. But most interesting of all is the Pokemon movie 22 released. Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution, a CG remake of the first movie, and you could say, Mewtwo Strikes Back. <laughs> Sorry for the Reddit tier joke, I don't look at Reddit. <laughs> well, I didn't intend to uh, go over a lot of the movie, and it just kind of happens. So I'll just be kind of going over random shit like Mew 3X, and because, you know, Pokemon look good in this movie. <laughs> The humans on the ha on their hands, uh, a little bit of a mixed bag, I have to say. And they look quite stiff when they're just, like, standing around talking. It's just like, oh, I'm gonna move, like, th this way. Super, like, s like, I'm not real. That's what I'm trying to say. They're not real. They're fake. They're fake people. Now, does this mean the CG is bad? I mean, no, not really. Does Arc 2016 exist? Now, you know, starting off in the intro, I just find some dude that just, like, cheats and throws three Pokemon at once. And Pikachu, the fucking monster Pikachu, is just fucking goes out and kills all three of them. It's all at once. <laughs> you know, all this is happening, you know, we gotta see Team Rocket for the first time, you know, doing their thing. Spying on the fucking gang, being like, we gotta steal that Pikachu. The Pikachu is super strong. Until a Dragonite just fucking swoops in and kills everyone all at once, it's crazy. And from here, we see the first sight of comedy, when Jesse's just holding out Frying Pan to hit Dragonite. I, I had a I laugh, real fucking, real goof, real, real laugh, laughter. And you know, obviously here we get some exposition that like, you are invited to f f fight the ultimate Pokemon trainer in the world, and everyone's like, yeah, that's, that's cool. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. That's awesome. I love Pokemon. So, you know, they make their way over to the docks where they're supposed to go to go to New Islands. I think that was the name of the island. And here they get some exposition. And every, every Pokemon trainer there finds out that their story has been missing for a week. Which I'm just saying is really weird because I'm gonna be real with you. How do you not know their story has gone missing for like a week? Because the Pokemon Center would not be running, apparently. I, I don't, I don't understand that. <laughs> so, you know, there's a storm of brewing, and obviously, they get told that, like, you know, you can't leave. Uh, just don't, don't do it. You're, you're going to die. So, you know, three trainers just, like, dip, because who cares? And Ash and friends are like, oh, man, how are we going to get there? But then, just then, Team Rocket, being the base Team Rocket they are, shows up and is just like, ah, ooh, ah, they're singing. And then they sing. You know what? I love it. I'm here for it. You know, Team Rock and Ash go into the sea in their Lapras boat until they fucking die. That's it. The end. So obviously everyone makes the island safe and even after Ash and friends just have their eyes wide open in the seawater just opened constantly. They arrive safely. Everyone. Team Rocket included somehow. I don't know how. The wheezing OP. <laughs> And now more exhibition happens with like the strongest Pokemon trainer in the world. Uh, Brock is funny. I love Brock actually. <laughs> really funny dude, for real, for real. And we get like this nice scene where it's really dark and it's really nice actually. I, I think the lighting's good in this movie, honestly. And our friend Mewtwo appears. Racism falls. <laughs> Racism follows Pokemon. Racism. A Pokemon can't be a Pokemon trainer. Hmm. No way. Are you sure about that? Can I say that? I don't... I don't know. <laughs> then, uh, he murders someone. So, you know. Pretty cool movie. Then, after some exposition and Team Rocket's sh shenanigans, Mewtwo releases the clones. Charizard 2, Blastoise 2, and Venusaur 2. Very good names, if you ask me. Then, Mewtwo challenges everyone to a Pokemon battle. By everyone, I mean the three dudes that's not the random dude that died, it's Ash instead. Against uh, Venusaur, Venusaur 2, uh, Blastoise, Blastoise 2, Charizard, and Charizard 2. And they use the worst as possible. Uh, everyone loses and Charizard gets every bone in his body broken. 
Charizard's dead. Mewtwo then proceeds to call everyone weak, which they are after that Pokemon battle, I'm gonna be real with you. They chose the worst moves, they deserve everything that came to them. Mewtwo is like, everyone sucks, I'm stealing your Pokemon, and I'm making my own Pokemon out of your Pokemon, and then proceeds to steal their Pokemon. And the, the Pikachu is the only good one to run away, and I guess Togepi, but Togepi cheated, I'm just saying. Togepi cheated. Then some more Team Rocket shenanigans appear, it happens, and uh, who's, who's that, that Pokemon? Pokemon? It's Scyther! I like that scene. <laughs> So obviously, Ash being Ash, bro just jumps in the clothing machine. He doesn't care. He's gonna fucking pry Pikachu out of that fucking machine, and it's a really cool scene, and I really like it. It is, it is a nice scene. But it doesn't matter. Pikachu still got clones somehow. You know what? The, the fucking Pokemon clones are born. They won't matter. Ever. I think. I don't, I don't remember the second movie of this, but they won't matter. Not in this movie. Then Ash proceeds to break through the ground with all his Pokemon friends that he got out from the machine because Ash destroyed it. And has an anime moment, walks out of the ashes, is just like, yeah, I'm Ash from Pallet Town, <laughs> and then proceeds to try to fist fight Mewtwo. Like, Mewtwo hasn't thrown him several times and, like, dodged or blocked every moon that's been thrown at him. And then Mewtwo proceeds to throw him, and Ash dies. <laughs> Not really, but Ash is saved by a. Uh, the, the, po the Pokemon that everyone says is under the van. You, you just need, you just need to wait 50 hours and interact with with strength with it under it's un, it's under the van. Please believe me. Mew 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 is under there. Please please please. I'm I'm cool. I'm please. <laughs> Mew and Mewtwo uh, quotation marks fight as Mew runs away from every attack Mewtwo throws, and you know, starts running until he gets hit by a shadow shadow ball. It's shadow ball in general. Right? Uh, it's, I'm gonna call it Shadow Ball. Mew deflects it, and you know what? You may not like it, but Mew starts to state straight facts. For real, for real. Mew and Mewtwo then proceed to act like actually start fighting. And now, because of that, now the clone Pokemon and the original Pokemon are just like going all out. So it's an all out. It's a battle royale. It's Fortnite. It, it's literally just Fortnite. And did you know that this is actually the inspiration for Xenoblade Chronicles 3? Source? My ass? Look, here. I'm gonna play this part, like, an entirely, but I'm gonna put Xenoblade music over it. You literally can't tell the difference. I'm, I'm just saying. You, you just can't. Two colossal martial nations locked in war. Kevez and Agnes. What is it they need to stay alive? Water? Please. Certainly. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It's it's literally the same thing. Who who could have guessed? Then Mew and Mewtwo, you know, they had enough. They're gonna do use their final attacks, and Ash, the Giga Chad, just runs in between the attacks. And, th and there was no plan. You're just gonna run in between it and be like, yeah, I could stop this, and dies. He's dead. Like, actually, this time, he's actually dead. Yeah, there's no coming back from this one. You know what? It's, it was actually kind of sad watching Pikachu trying to <laughs> revive Ash by electrocuting him. Was, I mean, I'm laughing now, but it was sad when I watched it. was sad when I was watching it. It was really sad. You know what? As everyone's uh, watching Pikachu try to save Ash, they start crying. The Pokemon, I mean, not the humans. They don't care about Ash. You know what? The tears are so strong. They revived Ash. Who could have believed this? You know, that makes me wonder. Could one technically live forever via Pokemon tears? Even crazier. Could one stay 10 forever via Pokemon tears? Now, hear me out. Is it possible that Ash might be harvesting Pokemon tears to keep himself 10 forever? I know this sounds crazy. I, I just need you to bear with me here. I'm, I'm just saying, Ash is harvesting Pokemon tears to stay 10 forever. <laughs> uh, anyway, Ash has revived, and now uh, Mewtwo realizes his thought process sucks. And everyone's friends now. So happy. Wow, I can't believe it. And anyway, <laughs> anyways, uh, Mewtwo decides 
he's had enough. Takes away, or Bro flies away with his two Pokemon, as in like the clone twos, not like the number two, to a mountain in Johto for the eventual Mewtwo returns. And the day is saved, and Mewtwo makes everyone forget everything happens. So, you know. This feels kind of pointless to uh, talk about now. Anyway, I like this movie. It was, it was a fun movie. I, I think I like the original more, just because it's 2D animated, not CG. But the CG isn't bad, I guess. Um, they need to make Mewtwo Returns Evolution. <laughs> you know. You, you gotta catch them all. Gotta, gotta remake them all. Gotta evolutionize them all. <laughs>